When running an organisation, it is important to have a board of directors who work well together. Making the right decisions and knowing what to do is called good corporate governance. This ensures that the company and everyone involved is making honest choices in the best interests of the stakeholders. So what makes a board of directors succeed? Let's look at the top 10 reasons why they don't. The first reason boards fail is not having the right people. Some directors might not have the relevant skills or experience, or they might not understand the importance of their role and responsibilities as a director. A board of directors is only as good as the people who sit on them. The second reason is not keeping directors up to date with recent developments. Directors need to know their roles and responsibilities. This includes understanding financial reports. Directors should never be kept in the dark. Directors should always be informed and new directors must be trained and equipped with the right information to help them fulfil their duties. The third reason is not knowing the rules of the organisation. The company constitution is like a rule book. It tells the directors, management and the staff what the organisation can and can't do and how it should operate. All directors should be encouraged to learn the rules and know how to change the ones they don't provide good results for the organisation. Four. Another reason is not making decisions in the best interests of the organisation. The chairperson and the directors need to promote responsible decision making. Effective decision making will keep the company strong and will allow it to grow and prosper. Reason number five is not recognising potential problems and risks that might threaten the organisation. By identifying any problems, directors can ensure the organisation is well prepared to weather any storm. Whether it's finances, management, staff or physical environment, directors must know how to deal with problems as they arise. A good way to do this is to keep a checklist of potential problems, risks and ways of dealing with them if they arise. Reason number six is not using the organisation's assets responsibly. Assets and funds belong to the organisation, not one individual or the board of directors. Directors should ensure assets and funds are used effectively to keep the organisation strong. This will leave a lasting impression on banks, government and suppliers. If assets and funds are used in the wrong way, the organisation will become weak and may not survive. The seventh reason boards fail is neglecting to pay taxes. Tax matters should be handled correctly. Tax and superannuation must be paid on time. Not reporting correctly can lead to financial penalties, cash flow problems and angry taxmen. Having people who understand taxes will help to address these issues. Reason number eight is not knowing the organisation's financial position. Financial reports indicate if funds are being managed properly. If directors are worried about the organisation's financial position, they should talk to the company auditor. Reason number nine is trying to do everything at once. Directors need to have a clear direction on where the organisation is heading. Board governance takes time and priorities must be set years in advance. All boards should have a good idea of the organisation's mission and what success looks like. Directors and management should work in partnership to establish key goals and priorities. 10. The final reason boards fail is a lack of teamwork. Directors and management must work together. If conflict and tension arises, it can interfere with the board's ability to make decisions. Constructive conflict can improve the decisions made because it's valuable to consider many points of view. Sticking to a well thought out strategic plan will give the board a direction and will minimise conflict. Good governance is made up of many different elements. Teamwork, communication, transparency, financial audits, a code of ethics and effective reporting 
contributes towards an effective and productive board. And a productive board means a successful and profitable organisation.